Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can turn your phone into an ethical hacker phone by installing Kali Linux in it rootless. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the Kali Linux application that we are talking about is Net Hunter. Kali Linux Net Hunter. Okay. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you an overview of what Kali, Kali Net Hunter is and then how to install it. So Kali Net Hunter is available for unrooted devices, uh, the Net Hunter rootless. For rooted devices that have a custom recovery, which is the Net Hunter Lite, and for rooted devices with custom recovery for which a Kali uh, Net Hunter specific kernel is available, the Net Hunter, the core of Kali Net Hunter, which is included in all three editions, comprises of number one, you have the Kali Linux container that includes all the tools and applications that Kali Linux um, provides. Next, you have the Kali um, Net Hunter app store with dozens of purpose built security apps. Lastly, you have the Android client to access the Kali Net Hunter app store. Okay, so let me give you some more nuggets. So Kali Net Hunter desktop experience, uh, also known as the KEX, K -E -X, to run full Kali Linux desktop sessions with support for screen mirroring via um, HDMI or wireless screen casting. So the Kali Net Hunter app store can be uh, accessed uh, through the dedicated client app or via web interface. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So a custom kernel can extend that functionality by adding additional network and USB gadget drivers as well as Wi-Fi injection support for selected Wi-Fi chips. Beyond the penetration testing tools included, included in Kali Linux, NetHunter also supports several additional classes such as HID, keyboard attacks, bad USB attacks, evil AP mana attacks, and many more. So now let's get into the NetHunter editions. You have the 1.0 and NetHunter can be installed on almost every Android device under the sun using one of the following editions. You have the NetHunter rootless, which is the core of NetHunter for rooted unmodified devices. You have the NetHunter Lite, L-I-T-E, which is the full NetHunter package for rooted phones without a custom kernel. Then you have the just NetHunter, right? Which is the full Hunter package with custom kernel for supported devices. Next you have the 2.0 NetHunter supported devices and uh, ROMs, R-O-M-S. So NetHunter Lite can be installed on all Android devices that are rooted and have a custom recovery. The full NetHunter experience requires a, you know, devices specific kernel that has been purpose built for Kali NetHunter. The NetHunter GitLab repository contains over 164 kernels for over 65 devices. Kali Lin Linux publishes over 25 images for the most popular devices on the NetHunter download page. Next, you have the 3.0 downloading NetHunter, right? Once the zip file has downloaded, verify the SHA-256 sum of the NetHunter zip image against the values on the download page. If the SHA-256 sums do not match, do not attempt to continue with the installation procedure. Now we get into the 4.0 building NetHunter. Uh, you know, those of you who want to build a, nut, a NetHunter image from, you know, the GitLab repository, uh, maybe, you know, you may do so using, you know, the Python build scripts. You can find additional instructions on using the NetHunter installer builder or adding your own device in the readme located in the NetHunter installer git directory. And then uh, when it comes to the additions, the last thing we have is the 7.0, the Kali Linux uh, NetHunter attacks and features. Uh, on the Kali NetHunter application. So you have the home screen, which is the general information panel, network interfaces, and HID device status. You have the Kali Truth Manager for managing Truth met meta package installations. You have the Kali services, which is the start slash stop various truthed services, enable or disable them at boot time. You have the custom commands. You can add your own custom commands and functions to the launcher. You have the MAC changer. You can change your Wi-Fi MAC address only on certain devices. You have the KEX manager, K-E-X. You can set up an instant VNC session with your Kali Truth. You have the USB arsenal and you can control the USB gadget configurations. You have the HID attacks, the various HID attacks, Tenzi style. You have the Duck Hunter HID, which is the rubber ducky style HID attacks. All right, 
So we talked about Kali Linux, I gave you an overview. Now let's get into how to install it on your phone. Okay, so number one, we have the NetHunter support and pre-built images. So NetHunter team builds and publishes images for a selected list of devices on the official NetHunter download page. That's number one. Number two, putting your device in developer mode. Before the installation begins, you must enable developer mode on your device. And this is done by navigating to settings, about, and tapping on the build number field seven times until you receive the notification that developer mode has been enabled. Go back to the main settings page and you will have a new section titled developer options. You can tap on the new developer options section and enable both the advanced reboot and Android debugging option. This is step three to five, right? Unlocking, routing, and installing a custom recovery on your Android device. NetHunter supports over 60 different devices running Android versions from KitKat through the Android Q. Whilst, uh, you know, it, it, it is standardized, the NetHunter uh, installation procedure, the steps to unlock, root, and install a custom recovery varies from device to device and even differs between Android versions. So the preferred custom recovery for NetHunter is TWRP. The preferred software to root the device for NetHunter is um, Magisk, right? M-A-G-I-S-K. So please refer to the appropriate guide to unlock, root, and install a custom recovery on your device before your preferred internet resource, such as the XDA Developers Forum. Number six, we have flashing universal DM vari uh, Verity and Force Encrypt Disabler. So important, for Android 9, 10, and 11 users, please ensure that you flash the universal DM Verity Force Encrypt Disabler and format the data partition prior to installing NetHunter. Uh, Magus does not support user context changes on encrypted data partitions, which leads to errors when connecting to Kali roots Fs via SSH. Uh, required key, you know, not available if the data partition is encrypted. Now we have steps seven to nine. Uh, and these are the final steps. So installing the NetHunter image now. Uh, now that your Android phone is ready, transfer the NetHunter image to it. Reboot to recovery mode and flash the zip on your phone. Once done, reboot and launch the NetHunter app to complete the setup. Oh, that, that, that was a doozy, huh? So an important note for Android 10 and 11 users, please update the NetHunter app for, from, you know, from the NetHunter store after flashing NetHunter. Android 10 introduced scope, scoped, 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 scoped storage restrictions, which prevents NetHunter from using the storage location traditionally used to save configuration files. Okay. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.